In this overview of the basics of color, we're going to stick to this controls in the bottom left part of the screen, color wheels, also known as the lift gamma and gain wheels. I'm doing this specifically for it to feel accessible to you. These tools are in every application. While not every application has got a pivot with the contrast, which by the way, makes contrast amazing. They all have saturation controls. They may have temperature controls. They definitely have scopes. We've got scopes over here. That happens to be the waveform. And this is a special one known as an overlay waveform. We've got the RGB parade. We've got a vector scope measures the vector of color. We've got something unique to color lab, which we'll explore when we talk about exposure. The shots I've picked here, they're all originally logarithmically handled shots. You'd have to do something to recover them. We're going to work without that recovery. The beautiful part about color being accessible all this is only going to take about five or 10 minutes out of your life to get the real basics of color. And we need to know this because it's good to know about color in general, but the best success with Color Lab is being able to nudge the AI assistants. Whenever you work in color correction, it's always the same general set of steps. You handle exposure and balance, exposure being the exposure of the shot, the balance being the color of the shot before you match. If you haven't done the first two steps, matching won't work. And setting a creative look is difficult unless all the shots match. As we work, I'm going to use versions over here in the bottom right corner to say, hey, this is where I started, just so we have that sort of comparison. And those four steps happen very quickly, very easily, and just to give you a feel. I'm going to do that using Color Labs built-in tools just to show you where we could end up. But we'll go by and we'll do them all individually, exposure, balance, matching, and a creative look. So you can at least see the Color Lab part of this demo. I'll go to my camera profiles. I'll say, hey, these were all originally a generic log, realistically, they were from a specific camera. I'm going to use Color Labs Auto Match. It's going to auto color this using one of these models, and I can pick which model I like better. I might say, oh, uh, I like this model a little bit better. I can further adjust this. Maybe I want to add a little bit more contrast because I want the exposure to be a little bit more. Maybe I want to add a little bit more saturation to this shot. Again, exposure, balance, matching, and creative look. Speaking of which, I'm going to tell Color Lab, please go ahead and match everything in the scene to this shot. It's handling the exposure, the balance, it's matching them to this shot. That's the whole beauty of this tool, this regard at least. I may still have to come back and make finer adjustments. For example here, I think this shot needs a lot more contrast. But I'll go and I'll pick a show look, for example, north, and I'm going to apply it to this shot. And because all these match, I can say, copy this and apply the show look to the entire scene. And I'm done. But it's still essentially those four steps. Exposure, balance, matching, and a creative look. Let's get started with the basics of color by exploring exposure. 